here are my five ugly stick tiger whites. Guys, I'm very picky, but if these were offered in 7 foot 6 one piece, I wouldn't use anything else for catfish or carp. I know the company is targeting these at uh, saltwater fishermen, but in 7 foot 6, these will just eat up the catfish market which is growing faster than just about anything these days so yeah ugly stick if you watch this video which you should watch my videos you definitely need to consider this guys during this video i'm gonna be talking about the rod ugly stick tiger white because all five of my ugly stick tiger whites are tiger white but this is the old version of this rod. The new generation was renamed to Ugly Stick Tiger Elite. But if you ask me, it's not Elite, but it's E Light. And look how they printed Elite on the new label. You can still, if you look at only the yellow letters, you can still read Tiger Light. And they just added an E in front of the light. But does this E make it Elite or E Light? I don't know, I, I just thought that's funny that they still kind of keep the heritage with the Tiger Lights even though they kind of formally renamed them. My personal guess is that somebody in marketing decided that Light is just not something that sounds nice as a name for saltwater product, some of which is used for bottom fishing. I mean, think about the heavy power Tiger Light, which can only be flexed by fish over 100 pounds. So you have a shark fishing rod that says light. You can see how somebody can find that to be a misnomer. By the way, there are only two differences between the old Tiger Light and the new Tiger Elite or Elite or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you now. And I said differences, not improvements, because... Well, you can decide for yourself if those are improvements. For me, they are just differences. The first difference is that the old Tiger White has this beautiful and very pleasant to the touch rubberized cork. And in the Tiger Elite, the handle is covered with this rubber heat shrink. I don't even know what's under the rubber heat shrink now. Did they keep the rubberized cork? Or now that you can't see what's under, they put something cheaper? Let me know in the comments which handle you prefer and why. I see this rubber shrink wrap in all kinds of rods today and people say that it provides somehow better grip than the conventional handles. But if you think about it, the EVA foam and the cork and the rubberized cork have a rougher texture and a rougher surface than this smooth rubber shrink wrap. So for the life of me, I don't understand how this smooth rubber would be less slippery than EVA foam or this particular rubberized cork. It just doesn't make sense to me. And of course, when it comes to aesthetics, the rubberized cork looks between uh, 100 and 500 times better than any shrink wrap on the market. And the other difference is the new Ugly Tough Guides. The Tiger Elite on top has the new one-piece stainless steel guide and the Tiger Light on the bottom has ceramic inserts. Well, Victor, you may say, how is this undestructible guide not an improvement? Well, it just so happens that ceramic is a much harder material than stainless steel and much more resilient to braid friction. And I also think that the black guides on the Tiger Light below are just a better color match on this picture here. Okay, let me show you the rest of the rod really quick so we can get to the action of the blank, which is the meat and potatoes of every rod. I talked about the handle already and to me rubberized cork is the best compromise between looks, feel and durability. Take a look at this black bulge here made of EVA foam. It doesn't look like much, but because of this little bulge, when you grab the rod, it feels like the rod kind of snaps and clicks and locks in your hand. 
The catfish and the striper rods have EVA foam that is slightly thicker than the rubberized cork, but they don't have this bulge and they don't have this feeling that the rod kind of snaps inside your hand. And then you have a graphite reel seat with a real comfortable trigger, the same like on the striper and on, on the catfish rods, nothing wrong with this reel seat. But the locking nut on the other side of the reel seat is a little bit different than the striper and the catfish rods. I don't know if the material is different, but the color looks like gunmetal and it just makes the rod look more sophisticated and better match for expensive reels. The catfish and the striper rods have this shiny finish, very typical of your average Walmart fishing tackle. Look how nice this looks, look, like a part of a gun. The four grips are exactly the same on the Elite and the Light and the Catfish and the Striper Rods. The blanks have this beautiful honey caramel color, very natural looking. And the seven footers have eight guides just like the Catfish Rods and are placed on exactly the same locations like the Catfish Rods too. All right, guys, let's look at the vault curves again. What I'm going to compare here is the seven foot Tiger Light, which is heavy power versus the seven foot Catfish, which is medium heavy. But this Tiger Light in seven foot doesn't come in other power and neither does the Catfish. So that's what I have. That's what you're going to see. I do have the 6 foot 9 medium power actually, okay? So I don't have the medium heavy because the medium heavy is 6 foot 6. That's too short for anything really. Starting with 8 ounces. These are the same weights I use every time guys. 4 ounces each. Okay? 2 pieces, 4 ounces each. 8 ounces, like last time. The catfish rod loaded properly. And when you shake it, it's a little bit slow to recover. This one, 8 ounces, I don't know, it's almost a straight line. No bend whatsoever. And here is 12 ounces for all my friends from Tennessee who fish the big rivers. Yeah, this puppy, 12 ounces, no problema. Okay, now we have one bottle of water, 500 milliliters just over one pound now the tiger white is starting to get down horizontal but no fast tip okay notice that no fast tip like the catfish rod and here we have two bottles okay one kilogram you can see notice that the base of the rod or what they call backbone you know it's very stiff in the catfish rod as well maybe even maybe even stiffer in in the very base of the rod but yeah the, the tiger white does not have that soft tip okay so two two bottles that's that's not a fully bent rod Okay, so here is the 6 foot 9 medium power versus the 7 foot medium heavy catfish rod, okay? So you can see, yeah, the catfish rod has more backbone, quote unquote. I, I really don't like that word. But look at the curve of the ugly stick tiger white. Look at this beautiful curve. This, this is what I'm looking for, guys. Imagine this thing was 7 foot 6. Huh? And I gotta tell you, because the tip of the rod is not soft, when you cast, honestly, the catfish rod feels softer during the cast. Okay? This rod is 6 foot 9. It casts just as good, if not better, then the seven foot catfish rod because the real seat is not so high also so uh yeah and here's my usual summary guys basically i love pretty much everything about the rod i love the color 
I love how slim the blank and the handle are compared to the usual catfish rod you're gonna see at the catfish conference. I love how comfortable the handle is with that little bulge right in front of the trigger. I really love the feel of rubberized cork on the old light rods. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the overall aesthetics and of course like all ugly sticks the durability. But my favorite feature and without which I wouldn't even own one of these rods is the amazing parabolic uh, curve uh, when you load those blanks. The only con that I can think of is the new rubber shrink wrap. I am not a fan of this thing. It looks cheap. It feels inferior to the rubber ice cork. I don't understand why they had to change that. Notice that I didn't put the price neither as a pro nor as con. 80 bucks is twice as much than the already excellent catfish and striper rods. So you have to add a lot of additional value to justify the extra $40. But on the other hand, you know, when I went to the catfish conference, I saw some catfish rod costing $150, even $180. So at 80 bucks, I think this rod is actually right in the middle of the road. So. I'm kind of neutral on the price. But other than the shrink wrap, my only complaint is the available combinations of power and length. The 6 foot 6 medium heavy is just too short. Too short for anything except maybe vertical jigging in salt water. The 6 foot 9 medium power actually has enough power for my taste and is almost long enough, but it got discontinued. The 7 foot heavy power is just too stiff for anything fresh water and for half of the sharks that swim in salt water. A 7 foot 6 in one piece medium heavy with the old rubberized cork handle would be my dream rod for both catfish and carp but it doesn't exist. I really hope somebody from Uglistic or Berkeley sees this video and offers next year a one piece 7 foot 6 medium heavy rod. Not to make me happy but because there is money to be made here. The catfish tackle industry is growing like insane and this rod at this price has everything necessary to eat up into the catfish market but it's just not offered in 7 foot 6 medium heavy. That's the only thing. Well, that's it for this video. As always, if you have any kind of questions or comments, please leave them below. I really enjoy reading and replying to comments. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you with the next review.